Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over Dungeon Fighter, a new title from Social Play. It will be available on April 2012 on Facebook or socialplay.com. Dungeon Fighter is free to play and it's something casual gamers and hardcore gamers can both enjoy. This video focuses on the player versus environment enemies that are called minions. I will be going over seven of the enemies starting with the goblin. The goblin is a level 1 enemy. They are usually the first wave of defense in a dungeon. They attack fast, meaning they have a better chance of interrupting your attack, rendering you useless. Like most of the low level creatures, their strength are in numbers. One or two isn't a problem, but a mob of them can bring even the most experienced adventurer to their knees. Now spiders have a special ability of spawning more spiders at a certain range. This can quickly become an overwhelming mob. If you walk into an empty room and there is something chilling about it, it probably isn't empty. Ghosts are partially invisible and only appear fully when they attack you. They will try to sneak up on you and get a few hits in before you realize. The orc is the standard tank enemy. They hit very hard and can take a great deal of damage. To balance that, they are slow attackers. You can take these guys out by hitting in between their strikes and kiting them when they swing at you. The kamikaze minions do a one-time heavy explosive blast. They do massive damage but it takes them almost two seconds to light their fuse. And so in a clear space you can avoid most of the damage. If you can kill them before their fuse goes off, you can avoid the explosive blast altogether. This is the first ranged enemy. The projectile they shoot travels fairly slow, so it can be dodged with enough skill. Alone they are not too tough to deal with, but grouped with any melee enemies it becomes hard to avoid their hits. Now this is the open beta and so we will be adding many more enemy types as we go along. These can be researched and unlocked by the dungeon lord playing Dungeon Forge. Saving the best for last, the Minotaur boss. Being the boss, he is of course the hardest to kill. If you have just a bit of health left after fighting the minions, chances are you will not stand the chance with the boss. He can have special skills attached to him, allowing the boss to stun you, poison you and possibly lifesteal from you. He can become very challenging depending on how the dungeon lord designs him. If that wasn't tough enough, the dungeon lord can use player equipment that the lord loots for him. Imagine a boss with legendary armor and a hammer. It is possible. Thanks to all for watching and please follow Social Play on Facebook to catch the next video covering the mage.